Everyone wants to become something, to do something extraordinary, to have a great purpose. Maybe you spend time thinking about who you want to be in five years or 10 years, but who you become five years from now starts today. It starts with what your heart chases after, what you long for, what you treasure, how you turn your gaze and what you're fixated on today. Our everyday moments, day by day, are shaping us into who we will become. So who are you becoming? We must set our hearts and minds on Christ and His redemption story here in the details of our daily lives. Not just on Sunday, not just on holidays, not just when extraordinarily hard or wonderful things happen, but today, how often we miss the ways that God is revealing Himself to us because we're so fixated on what's right before us, those things we have to get done. God is pursuing us, saying, come near, look at me, See what I'm doing here in the wings of this butterfly, in this petal that I formed, in the song that this bird sings. When we see the extravagance of His creation, we're reminded God does not stand off in the distance, unaware of the details of our lives. If He is so actively a part of His creation that He would form even the tiniest of creatures, He is at work in the details of our lives. Beholding and becoming is just a gentle invitation, a reminder to turn your eyes to Jesus and to keep your eyes open, to stay awake and be aware that He is so at work in transforming you right where you are. And if He cares that much about His creation, He cares about you. My prayer is that your faith would grow strong as you examine anew that our God is not distant, He's deliberate. My prayer is that if you come to these pages weary or wondering, that you would linger long and leave in awe of a mighty and great God. Let's behold Him together and find Him faithful in our process of becoming.